I'll try to kill him in one rocket. Oh no. Oh no! Ching gonna survived! Hello Doom fans and welcome to PJ Plays Doom, I'm Busy Horse, and in this episode I do Doom 2's Map 17 Tenements for no damage completion. There are lots of hit scanners and journeys across poison to negotiate, so let's get started. I'll start off by getting the shells, and I now want a weapon with which to use the shells. I may not quite be speaking correctly because I've said that introductory line too many times this evening. Quite a few mistakes. Anyway, I've got those shotguns safely. But now to go into that red door, I need the red key which is down there. There's a box of shells next to it. This chasm area is going to get nasty with imps at the bottom end, hit scanners at the side and cacodemons, so I want to get the shells, get the key and get out. Oh, I saw decals on the wall, but I didn't get hit. So yeah, you can get unlucky, but the hit scanners don't normally wake up quick enough to shoot you. Now I want to deal with those cacodemons pretty quickly. Because they'll be quite dangerous as they fly around. Usually the cacodemons are too high to get hit by the imp fireballs. They're just being very late. They're such tardy tomatoes. Anyway, I'll pick off a few imps from here while I'm waiting. Yes, you'll notice there's imps on both sides of this room. But I'm only really bothered about killing the imps on the left. I don't want to waste my shells. I'm always a bit tight in the early stages, but I have found in training if I prioritise the monsters that matter, I have enough ammo. Six shells for that cacodemon. Here comes the next one. They're quite silly, they'll, they'll follow their friends into an area where they've died. Because you're obsessed with attacking Doom Guy at any cost. I'm going to make a fine tomato salad. I need three more. Was it two more? Hopefully two more cacodemons. Oh no, I guess three. This is gonna get very tight for ammo. Quite close to me, but without being at too much risk of being hit. And I've just run out of shells, so I will go in the red door now for another box of shells. This map is full of hit scanners. I've started in the south section, the map divides into four sections, and there's a central courtyard with a lot of nukage. I want to pick off some hit scanners at a window here, but I've got to do it quickly because there's a particularly annoying chain gunner in the north section, which can hurt me. So here goes, 14 kills right now, I want to get it up to 18. 15, 16, 17, 18, that's really quick. Okay. Um, while I'm at it, I want to flick that switch, but there's a chance those spectres will bite me. Um, and the Ching and the, the North will have another go at me as well. I'm getting indigestion right now because of the anxiety of this, so I better, go, better just go for it now. Yes. Yes, made it. So I'll get those shells. I don't want to be exposed to north-facing windows. Yeah, those imps shouldn't be able to hit me here. Those spectres are stuck, but the spectres down here aren't. There are five of them. So I want to kill them, because I'll need to go in there in a minute. So I want the kills to get to 23. So all of the spectres are dead, which means I can now stand closer to the bars to keep that door open so it won't keep closing. 
There was a risk of me getting bitten from below if I stood too far up to the bars, which I will before, but now I'm safe in that respect. Right, um, what to do now? Did I kill the imps over here yet? Are they all gone? Yes, I think they are. Good. Okay, so the next step, I can put off those imps for now. The next step is to go... Oh, dare I grab those? I could get shot by the chain gunner opposite. I'm not desperate for that ammo at the moment, so I'll put it off. If I came down here, by the way, to kill the Hell Knight, I'd have to blow up that barrel first, because I'd be at risk if it blew up because of a fireball. So that's why I killed the Hell Knight through the bars. Doing things in the right order is really crucial on a map that's full of hit scanners like this. Just let those fireballs go by, there was just one. I can kill those imps later on. And now I can leave this section. And there's going to be plenty of mice in this video, guys. Oh no, I've got a chain gunner. Now, yeah, there he is. He's behind those yellow bars. Such an annoying git. I can get him into a fight sometimes with an imp. I don't want to use up all my ammo. Did he get hit? Yes, he's fighting back. Sometimes he again goes dormant. So he might not be a threat now. But he's very difficult to deal with safely. Anyway, the first bit of maths, guys. I'll do it now. I'll I'll hope the chain gunner's no threat, because I haven't seen him. So he might be dormant or he might be dead. Right, I'll look at the map. I need to face due north. And 17 seconds more than a multiple of 32 is what works. 6, 24, 6.56. In fact, by the, yeah, by the 11 second rule, 7.02 will be fine. Yeah. Now I've triggered some monsters on the right. Uh, so I need to snipe them off very carefully. And yes, there's a chain gunner there as well. This map actually contains a lot of chain gunners. Only maps 22 and 24 have more, I think, in Doom 2. Right, um, now I killed four of the monsters in that room up there from that window there, where the spectres are stuck. But there's two left there, so I'll pick them off now. 31 kills at the moment, so I want to get it up to 33. Yes. Perfect. I've only got seven shells, but there's going to be plenty of ammo available in that eastern section over there. So I need another tick counting journey, guys, because I'm having to cross Nukage again. So much max, I know. Uh, but don't worry, I've worked it out, so you can just sit back and relax and enjoy the show. I use my pistol to line up there, that fixes my position. Can I rotate until the marble face just disappears from view? And I need 4 seconds more than a multiple of 32, which 836 will be fine for that. Yes. I may have gone slightly early, but these journeys have all got plenty of leeway in them. Getting a bit of indigestion now. Anyway, there's a revenant on the left. I just need to hide from the bonehead. It's a very linear map, this. Nearly every section is compulsory to get to the exit. Yes, thank you. You have four shotgun guys now. I want to pick them off one at a time. One, two, three, four. Perfect. 
and you can see I'm replenishing plenty of shells and, and some bullets as well. Um, right. Now I need to get to that blue key. Uh, we can actually use the Z coordinate bug to our advantage in this map. Because I switched building a floor here. And I'll use that berserk I picked up. And that spectre. I was hoping to blow up that barrel before the door closed, but never mind. Yeah, not all of the shotgun guys die. I need to be very careful here. Anything alive? Yes! Okay. They did get me in one earlier attempt, so that was a bit more nerve-wracking. Flicking the switch doesn't release any nasties, it just raises a pathway to that far side. I'll just cross over to the far side again, shall I? Not so fast, because John Romero made map 29 when you may remember I cheesed the cyber demon at the end by dodging the line death that would have brought the pit up. Well, the line death that releases some nasties doesn't go all the way across, it just goes across the end of the pathway like that. So I'm going to go diagonally to dodge it. Good. Okay, there's a pain elemental down here. I use the Z coordinate bug again there to flick a switch that's below me. And as the pain elemental comes up, I will chain gun it. And it's a lot safer than it may appear at first sight, because there's a box of shells on the ground between me and the potato which protects me from the girls because they can't charge past an object on the floor that you can pick up okay so I need to dodge the line death again and go back and I've now raised the pathway to the blue key I can just go in a straight line for this one there's no trap released I will be back here later on to deal with the traps that would have been released there's some in fireballs Rather disconcerting, but uh, for now I will leave this eastern section of the map and I'll use tick counting again. I'll line myself up to face due west. Sometimes that's very hard. I'm trying to line up the arrow to be due west on the map. Hopefully that's close enough. Uh, 12, 12, 16. 12.27 is perfect. Okay, and now continuing to face due west, I want 19 seconds more than a multiple of 32 for this journey. 12.16, 12.35 would have worked. 12.46 will be fine. Okay, 42 shells, which is too many to grab that box. Oh no, this is where I might find out whether that Chingon is dormant or dead. I don't want... Oh, oh, he was dormant and then I killed him. Oh, right. Okay, so I've got rid of him successfully. Just keep sniping. I heard another imp die. Hopefully that's everything I need dead over there. Okay, so we're now at the blue door to the western section. Now, I've done some training on this earlier today because it is quite difficult. But I've determined the best order of doing things. So I'll open the door, kill the chain gunner. And with three imps, I want small movements if possible to avoid activating extra enemies. I'm just looking nervously over there in case there are some imp fireballs approaching. Okay, so I'll kill those. Now some on the right. Ammo isn't short anymore now, by the way, so when I waste a shot, it's not critical. And another zombie just there. You're seeing the horns of a cacodemon through that window. Shooting through windows is going to be really crucial here. And the cake, and the cake I ate not long before I started recording it's giving me indigestion now from the stress, again. Okay. Uh, more shotgun guys here. Don't hide from me. 
I don't appreciate it. Right. The six I killed in the other room, by the way, the six I picked off ahead of time were in that room up there, so they would have bothered me now. Uh, chain gunner at a window to the right. Yes, if I don't kill him quickly, he wanders across and attacks me from that window, which is quite edgy. There's an arachnatron down here. There's another window over there. I want to shoot a chain gun at that window. So to do that, I'm going to cling to these stairs and I might be able to activate the chain gun or kill it without triggering the arachnatron. No. No, I didn't. Oh, the chain gun acts as a light source and helps me see into those windows. So plan B for that chain gun is to run over here and hopefully he appears at the next window. Oh no. Oh, I got hit. Oh, damn it. That was unlucky. Several days later, let's join attempt number 43 at the beginning. Okay, in a way, that is reminiscent of my 2019 success, which was on the wrong comp level. I will fight the hit scanners from here. I've been doing this for quite a few attempts now, and I've not been shot once. It's very safe. I'm now going to kill the five spectres in this room. Oh, that's a beautiful explosion. The Hell Knight was right there. All of the spectres have gone. Now I'll just finish off the Hell Knight. Yes. I've memorised that there are five imps up there. You'll find out why that's important. Get the key, get the shells, and get out. I'll quickly grab those shells. over there, that's a bit dangerous, but now I'm out of the way of that distant chain gunner, and I will shoot the cacodemons just until my shells are down to 30, to avoid wasting the box of shells which is up there. I misread the ammo, I thought it was 30, it's actually 36. Okay. I memorised five imps up here so that I can punch them. So that's 14 kills. So I want I want 18, and then it's safe to go up. be two left. Don't be shy. I've got this method all planned out and you're you're stalling, you're ruining my plans. Okay, I don't mind, I can wait. I know there's two imps still up there. That's slightly dangerous because you're not even guaranteed to die on the second punch. Okay, so all of the imps are dead. Now I just need to go across and hide while the distant imps may even get into fights with the cacodemons and save me more ammo. In the meantime, I'll just peekaboo shoot them like this. Demons, of course, because they're in the way. Oh, there's a corpse right on the edge. That's really annoying. Just shoot and hide. That's all there is to it. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm cutting my dodging really close. The height of Cacodemons can be very unpredictable, like that, that one was lower than I expected. It's now risen up. It's almost like they're inflatable and they've got different amounts of air in them. Maybe they're like fish. You know, fish have like a swim bladder. More in fighting, please. Thank you. I suspect that's the last Cacodemon. Finish it off. It's got nothing to live for because all its friends are dead. But I've got enough ammo, I may as well kill the imps. Okay, um, it's now time do my first bit of tick counting. I want 17 more than a multiple of 32. But hang on a minute. That chain gun is active. No, he was dormant on some earlier attempts. He's in a fight now. I think he killed the imps. I think he won his fights. He's a bit of a tough git. Darn it. But I think he's dormant, so... Yeah, I'm speeding up the footage here, guys, because this part is pretty much the same as I did before. I snipe off the enemies to the east there, except now there are three monsters left in this room. Kills are 36 right now. So I want it to go up to 39. One more. I see you. Yes, got him. And this tick counting manoeuvre. And now I clear the eastern section. And I was enjoying some cake that afternoon. We'll hear more about that later on. I'm destroying a potato, getting a blue key, and jumping back to the west. And I now need to snipe imps. I forgot the chain gunner. And I got away with it. Oh. How I managed to forget that chain gunner, I don't know, but it's that thing where he's dormant but not dead. I'm not in the most focused of mindsets this afternoon, it's really, it's really not great. And this is when, while I was sniping the imps, I finished off my cake. So that's why I stood still for a little while. I started clearing the area behind the blue door as before. Now, in a change to my previous strategy, I will now go over to the right to kill the central chain gunner. And the most awkward one, the one that ended attempt number 22, is up behind this window here, which you can hardly see from this angle. But he was competing with the Arachnatron for auto-aim when I was shooting from over there on the left-hand side. So this time, I'm going to kill the spider first. And my weapon can just about see it, even though I can't really see it. That sound can tell me where it is as well. but. Like I say, ammo is plentiful. If I waste some shots, it doesn't matter. I can definitely hit it when it's trying to hit me. And of course it lights up like a Christmas tree as well, which is not the best defence mechanism for a Doom monster. Right. 
I now want to clinically and carefully pick off the chain gun out the window. Oh no. I got him. I don't understand how, but I think he may have wandered off to the window. But that is one of the most annoying chain gunners. I mean, obviously the one at the yellow bars is the most annoying chain gunner on the map. But I think that, that one's number two. A, a very solid silver medal for annoyingness. I may as well get these shells because I'm always so plentiful. I like to have the 200 200. Just because it looks nice. Oh no! Did I miss a chain gunner? Why did I just hear one get- oh no! I think I know it's the one next to that Cacodemon. I shouldn't have wandered around picking up goodies at this stage. Right, I'll quickly kill this one. And he wandered into this room. I, I'm very lucky, I could have been shot there. I shouldn't go around this room picking up goodies until I've finished off all of the chain gunners. And now that releases a cacodemon as well. Yeah, so it was when I wandered over, as my wrist cracked, it was when I wandered over there, I think, that I triggered a chain gunner up there, which was getting in the way of the cacodemon. And so that unleashes them, and for no damage play you want to keep control of the movement of monsters as much as possible, so that was a mistake that I got away with. Right. Unfortunately I will now waste some shells here. Yeah, that can't be avoided. Well, I shouldn't have picked up the first box, but I'm always plentiful anyway. It's fine. The rocket launcher and yellow key are over there, I'm facing due east pretty much. I want 20 more than a multiple of 32, so I'll go at 1620. Yes. I just about had enough time to watch the clock to judge what I was doing there. So there's a bit of going backwards and forwards, you may have heard some indigestion from my cake eating just then, but it's very tasty and definitely worth it. Going this way will get me a backpack after I kill a potato. Potato is not a very good guardian of the backpack. Um, and there's another potato around here. Yeah, that looks scary, but it's very safe. Now that I've got the rocket launcher, you'll be hearing yeeing. What we're looking at now is the chamber that was on the right-hand side as I picked up the red key in that chasm. So with splash damage, I'm hoping to kill two hit scanners. Brilliant. Sometimes that takes several rockets. Now the small hit scanners on the far side, to deal with them, I will use this partial invisibility. It's almost useless, the partial invisibility, because I've nearly killed all of the dangerous hit scanners in this part of the map. But if I go to this edge here, I should kill the two hit scanners opposite now. Yes, I was aiming at the barrel. I was aiming at the barrel, but all's well that ends well. Now, of course, I can jump into this area, but I will again be dangerously close to the imps that were guarding the red key, and um, no, that's not a good way to approach. So I'll enter that room much closer to the end of the routes. For now, as Big Mac Davis often says, I have another bit of tick counting to do. I want to go diagonally across aim my blurry pistol that's right, it's not blurry now. At that corner, from in between those two screws. And I want 26 more than a multiple of 32. 18, 14, 36. 18.55 works. Go. Yeah, I did 
consider having a piece of paper for the tip counting numbers to consult. But I used it only in training. For proper attempts, I have made myself memorise all of the tip counting numbers. It just feels a bit more genuine that way. Now these decorations are horrible because they stop me seeing the projectiles but they don't stop the fireballs hitting me. Those hidden imps need to go. Just pausing in case there was a revenant missile coming my way. Because that turret revenant is. Well, we're seeing a most awkward chain gunner in all of Doom 2. This is one of the most awkward revenants. Yeah, that one in map 30 is pretty nasty because you've got no cover apart from going around corners. Anyway, once I've cleared off all the imps, this one's very tame. He keeps squirming in his cage, but he can't really dodge me. Okay, I've got 10 rockets in hand. I'll use the Z coordinate again to open up that, which is actually the BFG secret, but some monsters will open up when I cross these lines. And I will retreat. I'm getting some catch in my throat from my cake right now. This medikit will protect me from lost soul attacks. So here goes. And I want to kill the pain elemental as soon as possible. Brilliant. I had to delay saying brilliant because the Kakademia fireballs are coming for me. And I want to focus on playing over commentating because this has taken too many attempts already. So this has been very comfortable. Yes, bit. So I'll go for the BFG now. There's no need to drop down there because if I did, I'd have to enter the poison. That would be a very bad thing. I've not tick counted that journey at all. And uh, I grab these things, my cake is still catching in my throat. It's still worth it. Okay. By the way, you'll look at the bottom left, you'll notice the yellow key is different from the other two keys. It's quite unusual that we've got a supercharge. It's quite unusual that we've got keys of different types in the same map. So I'll just edge across to the right of this platform. And now if I strafe across, I don't have to tick count that journey because I actually do land on the non-poison, on the hard surface. So I'll use 26 Morgan and multiple of 32 again to do this journey again. 26, 6, 24, 22, 18 would have worked, so 22, 29 is good. By the 11 second rule. And... I've got a special tick counting treat for you guys at the end of the route, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, there's a couple more chain gunners in here. Okay, now this one, I'll try and kill him quickly with a rocket. Oh no, I just damaged him. Okay. Um... Let's see, for this Archval, yes I will use a BFG shot. This Archval is very sad because it's got no corpses to resurrect. Oh dear. Still had enough will to live to dodge my BFG shot. Okay, when I have to dodge that Archval in a hurry and I strafe along the wall, in the past I have got stuck to the wall and it's been very difficult for me to get out of the way. Okay, there's a fun trap coming up now. I will prime my rocket launcher. The kills are 94. There are five enemies going to be revealed on the far side of the room where those imps and decorations were. I'll try to kill them in one rocket. Oh no. Oh no. 
Chain gonna survive. Yes. Oh, that was awkward. Okay. Okay, that's not good for my digestion. <laughs> right. As I go up this lift, there's going to be an arachnatron. I've probably enough cells to have two BFG shots, in fact. And yes, if I fire too early, that's quite awkward, but anyway. I'm now going to kill some enemies in some small passageways on my way towards the exit. Because I won't be ready to exit just yet, but it's good for me to do these uh, kills because I'm grabbing more ammo. Oh no. I don't like just injuring them like that. Okay, there's going to be a chain gunner around here. Good, good. Excellent. Died in one shot, just like I want, just like I like it. Um. Okay, I'll wait for you to come closer. Yes, I did activate some more. Okay. And there's one more. Oh my gosh, he didn't even die on the second shot. Oh, right, I just have to avoid stepping into the exit because I'm not done. And you will, of course, remember those traps I avoided earlier when I avoided triggering those lines. I'm now entering one of those traps by back route. I'll try BFG shots, but basically it's two on this side and on the other side of the room where the blue key was. It's two cacodemons and a chain gunner on each side. So I'll attack the two cacodemons and chain gunner on this side with a BFG shot and then hide. Yes, the chain gunner died. So I can safely snipe the cacodemon and get that mega sphere. It does me no good because I've taken no damage. Now, because I've triggered the trap by entering entering the back way. I've not opened up the other side over here. So if I crossed that line death earlier when I was skipping it, both closets would have opened up, but the two cacodemons and chain gunner over here are still hidden. So I'll skip this line death one last time. Oh no! Oh no, I didn't skip it. Is he still alive? No, he's dead. I can see the chain gun. Oh, what a shame. I had such a nice tactic lined up where I was going to blow them up. And I think I was worried. I think I was worried about um, accidentally falling into the poison. If I try and go at too much of an angle, I could fall into the poison. And I think I overcompensated, triggered the line death. Wow. Now, of course, I'm, I'm actually not going to exit by that way because you'll notice I'm still missing one secret. So I use the Z coordinate again to flick that switch that was hidden before coming up here to gloat upon the corpses of, the, of my enemies. I can't gloat too much. I've been very untidy with my methods, but I guess just 10 enemies to go. And I don't think there are any hit scanners left. Did I get the imps up here? Yes, I did. The spectres got stuck to each other, can die now. I can still hear one. Yes. Five imps. Hopefully all imps down there. I'm just going to take my time and do this right. It's taken too many attempts already, this map. 
Of course, it's not up to me where the rocket auto aims, but I've got plenty of ammo, so... Oh, sometimes I get them in fewer shots when I'm practicing, never mind. Come on. I'll finish you with a rocket. Yes. A hundred, hundred, hundred. Now, I did promise you an extra special bit of tick counting. I'll just have a bit of drink. Mm. Lovely. Um, in honour of Map 29 of Doom 2, when I first invented tick counting, it's turned out that the correct tick counting number for this journey is 29 more than a multiple of 32. I faced you north, and I can actually cross both bits of poison in one bit of tick counting, because there will be a pain tick, a multiple of 32, right in the middle of the journey, on the solid platform in the middle of this courtyard. So 36, 30, 24, 30, 21 works. Yes. Wow, I've done it. The first tick counting journey that has two separate bits of poison in it. If that counts as a definite thing. So hopefully you guys found that exciting. Hopefully that was worth waiting for. I've cocked up evening a successful run so many times. But I've made it without taking any damage. Wow, finally. I hope you guys enjoyed my suffering at the hands of the mini chain gunners in this map. At least tick counting made the journeys across poison virtually risk free. Back in 2019, when I succeeded on the wrong comp level, I was just hoping to get lucky with the new kids. In those days, I wasn't making videos, so it didn't matter too much that I took about two weeks to record a successful run. Needless to say, I gave Vic a full five stars on my difficulty scale. As promised, let's see how I coped with the monster closets near the blue key, without the BFG. I skipped the line death, used the hidden switch to open the gap door, and released the enemies, so I could snipe them from relative safety. It worked pretty well. Here's what I was trying to do in 2021 with the BFG. Unfortunately, I screwed up, but still got the triple kill. Another stressful moment in a map that really takes the cake. Okay, I have my last remaining bite of cake while I wait for any more imps to fire at me. Mmm. That's oh, gorgeous. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Sorry, a sponge. All gone. For more delicious Doom challenges, subscribe and have notifications on. I really appreciate your support, especially if you've watched this video to the end. Until next time, take care of yourselves and of Doom Guy. Goodbye.